Hello Virgos. This is you versus them for the 1st through the 15th of April. Look at you under the bottom of the deck with that magician there. I feel like you guys have a lot going on. <clears throat> this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. Please show me what issues did Virgo have with this connection in the past? What issues did Virgo have? The Ace of Pentacles. Getting it off the ground. Um, making it a stable connection. Okay. I think that you guys had have had maybe an issue with really deciding if this was something you wanted to invest in. Okay. Was it worth investing in? Let's see what issues they had in the past. Please show me what issues the other person had in the past. The Two of Cups. Hmm. I'm feeling like this person maybe did not initially have the depth of feelings that you guys had with this connection. Okay. This could also be the fact that maybe um, there was another relationship that they were currently involved in or somebody else they had feelings for or either they felt like you guys had feelings for someone else. But um, the, the connection, the mutual love and affection for each other they felt was lacking in this situation okay what's keeping Virgo from this person what's keeping Virgo from this person what's keeping Virgo from this person please show me the ten of wands is too much for you I think you've tried everything that you could um, I think you guys feel like you've given it your all and you just don't think that it's worth it. I'm feeling that you guys want to start over. You want to invest in something else, something new. Okay. Something that you feel like you can actually work on and grow here. What's keeping this person from Virgo? What's keeping this person from Virgo? The Page of Swords. I think they they lack the maturity. Um, I think they have a hard time really communicating effectively. And I think when they do communicate, they are very um, harsh with their words, very immature, hurtful. Okay. I think they not speak out of turn, but I think that. Um, they don't have any tact okay and I think sometimes they they intend to be hurtful okay because there is something amiss here with the emotional aspect of this relationship this connection what's currently going on for Virgo what's currently going on for Virgo the Empress you guys are working on yourselves. I feel that you are growing. I feel like you are outgrowing this connection, actually. I feel like you're way more mature. Um, again, I'm feeling you guys want to start over. Okay. I feel like you have a lot of responsibilities. You're very mothering, um, very caring. And I feel like a lot of things you really, you know, take responsibility for. And um, a lot of times you don't mind doing that. But I, I'm feeling like you're being taken advantage of. Okay. What's currently going on for them? What's currently going on for them? And this could also be um, another person here that's coming into play for you guys. Somebody that you share a history with. Somebody that you look at um, as very stable. Um, very grounded, grounded, very supportive. Somebody that you see um, as 
like the ultimate partner. You know, you see everything in this person. You see the potential in this person. This could be a child's mother or father in this situation. Um, yeah, definitely. What's currently going on for the other person? The Nine of Wands. This person doesn't want to give up. <clears throat> they want to continue. They want to continue with this situation, um, with this connection. I feel like this person's currently observing your movements, what you have going on in your life currently, okay? If you guys are not already um, together or still together, they are definitely checking you out, okay? Let's see. What's influencing Virgo? What's influencing Virgo? The Two of Cups. You guys are still, I feel, very much in love. Um, very much in love with this individual. Okay? I think that you just kind of had enough of the instability. And that is what you want in your life with the Empress. You want something that has the potential to, to grow into, you know, something very substantial and grounded and, you know, something that you can really, you know, hold on to. Something that's not fleeting. Very much in love with this individual, okay? And I feel like you're still willing to, you know, carry the burden of whatever with this individual because this is what this is what's winning out here in this situation is the two of cups energy um, feeling that strong connection with this person even though you feel like the you know it's very unstable and this person probably you know leans on you a whole lot you know you carry them mm -mm. what's influencing the other person what's influencing the other person. The Four of Cups, they're very stubborn. Very stubborn. Um, they want you guys to come to them. And I think they're used to that. Okay. I don't see them saying much. I see them still um, almost, um, what is the word? emotionally manipulative actually here they want you to feel like they don't care when they actually do care um but they like attention okay definitely this person likes attention what's coming in for virgo what's coming in for virgo The Seven of Cups. You have this level of confusion because in one sense, you know, you feel like it's, it's best for you to, to venture out on your own and explore different things. Um, but all in all, you know, you guys still have, you know, this strong love for this individual, which is kind of confusing, you know, because you don't feel that you've been done right or treated right in this situation, but you can't help who you love. And that's what I'm getting from you. You can't help it. Hmm. Let's see. Scorpio energy. What's coming in for them? The Three of Swords. Hmm. This person's hurt. Disappointed. And I think they're disappointed by what they have observed. You guys have grown. Okay. They see a change in you. And they realize that they, you know, their, their thumb is, is not as strong as it used to be. Okay. And this emotional ma manipulation that they have been used to um, putting into action to kind of like control a situation with you, that's no longer working. Okay, so I would tell you guys to, to stand strong, 
to stand strong and um, you know establish your boundaries for sure okay let's see what would be the advice for Virgo what would be the advice for Virgo stand strong okay you've gone through a lot of changes here a lot of changes and um, you can keep going you can keep going you got this you got this do what you need to do for you okay this is somebody that's been through a battle but realizing that yeah I've been through you know I've been through the fire but it's not gonna beat me down it's not gonna tear me down keep going okay because you will reach the finish line and get what you deserve do not lower your standards is what I have for you what's the advice for them what would be the advice for them the nine of Pentacles <laughs> they need to start working on themselves okay they need to 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 get their stability their personal stability their personal security Yes, for sure. Because I get that you guys have been the backbone taking care of them. Okay. Being there, everything is what I'm getting. They need to be able to hold their own and stand on their own is what I'm getting here. Okay. Let's see. The outcome for Virgo. What's the outcome for Virgo? Judgment. For sure. I definitely feel this person... Um, wanting to resurrect something here but I feel like the ultimate decision is yours okay and whatever decision you make is going to be long lasting because 21 the world comes after this this is wrapping up a cycle and starting over again all right let's see what's the outcome for them the two of wands mm -hmm. they're going to have to make a decision here they're going to have to make a decision here as well And I feel like they will. I don't know why my camera cuts out after 12 and a half minutes. But anyway, I feel like they will make a decision here to work on themselves, stand on their own. Because that is way more attractive, okay? Way more attractive. Um, I'm, I'm getting the sense that this person probably, you know, they, they, they lean on you more for financial reasons um, and your emotional uplifting than anything else but as far as sharing that that energy that emotional support I don't feel like you guys have felt like you've had that okay and that's what you're looking for that's what you need you need someone to match you is what I'm getting from you guys so we have Taurus Aries Libra Scorpio energies here Sagittarius is here strong um, cancers here very strong cancer Scorpio Sagittarius is here very strong um, yes and Aquarius is here okay could be Gemini as well but that's what I have for you guys, and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.